What do Rihanna, Kim Kardashian, and Lady Gaga all have in common? They're going robe. Why a white lace bra? She's pure accent. <laughs> Five reasons why Cara Delevingne inspires us to be our best selves. I love that she's bringing tomboy glamour to I know. Yeah. And we spy denim on denim. The trend is back, but should you love it or leave it? The styling options are endless. Plus, the Hadids, the Olsons, or the Richies. Who's the most stylish sister duo in Hollywood? It's all ahead on We Spy Style. Hi everyone, I'm Allison McNamara. Welcome to another week on We Spice Style. Ryan is out today, so filling in for him are Pop Sugar Beauty reporter Kirby Johnson. Hello. <laughs> and Sinead Grimes Beach. Woohoo! Yay! What are you ladies up to? First, Kirby, what about your, your beauty stuff? Okay, so we have Pop Sugar Beauty Junkie, which is essential tips and tricks for the everyday woman mm -hmm. or man. And then we have mm -hmm. Style Survival, which is on Pop Sugar Girls Guide. And it's basically a Ask Kirby anything, and I'll try to help guide you for and beauty-wise. Okay, so how much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Allison. How about you? Anything new with you? I got a couple movies under my belt Woo! in the last few months, and I've been traveling a lot. That's I'm exciting. I'm Barcelona. I think I'm going to go back. So, yeah, enjoying the summer. Yeah. All right, well, moving on. Who says pajamas and robes are just for lounging around at home? <laughs> Celebrities are going robe in public, and we're putting the trend to the test, and you've been flagged. So grab your flags. First up, the robe coat. We're seeing the all over the street style set, and Kim Kardashian, as you guys know, has been a huge fan of these for a while. Red or green flag? Oh my god, I love these! <laughs> You're red flagging them? Okay. You gotta tell me why. I like the silk pajama thing. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely a supporter of that. We're gonna get to that in a minute. This isn't flattering, guys. Come on. I will agree. Kim Kardashian, while this look got a lot of buzz, it oh, is well. interesting. Not 1999. This is not instincts. I drive myself crazy video. So let's. <laughs> oh my god! You guys are hating else. on me. I literally wore two of these last week. I'm going to show them here. Hopefully, I did it better than them, though. You'll have I'm to be the judge. I'm for you wearing. Them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some people have taken the trend a step further, and uh, yeah, let's talk about Grace Coddington's full pajama look at the Met Gala. <laughs> and fashion blogger from We Wore What, Daniel Bernstein, did a more casual take on the trend with the pajama top with the short. Do we like this rendition, red or green? Flag, vote. I'm gonna go, I think. <gasps> Opposite <gonna> day. <laughs> I mean, Grace is an icon. Do Grace can do you anything. Want. I love yeah. Grace's. Do yeah. it, go for it. And you know what? I don't mind the pajama shirt. I actually don't mind it, but I probably wouldn't wear it. I don't mind it with its matching short set that you wear okay. to go to sleep in. But would you wear that in public? No. I wouldn't. I definitely just bought Grace's <laughs> <laughs> pajama set that looks almost identical to that one. It looks super comfy. I saw a really cute picture of Poppy Delavine wearing it, yeah. and I was like, I have to do that too. Yep. I believe I can. Pop I think you can. <laughs> I just don't like Danielle's execution, if we're going to like vote just purely on these photos. I would agree with you on Fair that. Fair enough. And the next one is kind of ridiculous. Most recently, Rihanna stepped out in this very revealing bra and silk pajama set. And then there's, you know, Lady Gaga and Demi Lovato just like showing their Tatas all over the place. <laughs> Too much, just right. Better green flag. You're very adamant yeah. about that. No, I'm with no, you. no. Gaga, do whatever you want. Like she's just been. But what is the boob thing. situation? Yeah, the boob coming off from underneath. Like get something that fits correctly. I don't know. Demi's whole thing is oh. really bad. Everything yeah. about it's unflattering. Like appreciate your curves for yeah, sure. Yeah. But we don't need to see all of them. I have a question for Lady Gaga. Why a white bra? Why not a black bra? Like what's sexy about a white bra? Nothing. No. Like if you're going to wear just a bra, you're like, oh, that's like almost... She's pure, Allison. That's a step <laughs> from like the nude bra. You know, like, that's not, not cute. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know where Rihanna's flag. going. Like, yeah. Where is she headed? Yeah, wh where is... I'm going to throw this on. I'm going to go Leo's house. <laughs> and now for another person who's known for having casual laid-back style is model-turned-actress, my fave, Cara Delevingne. <laughs> she has her first big film, Paper Towns, coming out this week, which I cannot wait to see. But she's been inspiring us to be ourselves long before her Hollywood debut. Take a look. Is Cara Delevingne the most inspiring lady in young Hollywood? Beauty, brains, and talent. Cara Delevingne has it all, including an incredibly powerful mantra. Stop labeling, start living. Honestly, there is isn't a star in the business more relatable, open, and free than Miss Cara D? Here's proof. Number one, she wears what she wants. I'm a bit of a tomboy, you see. I've always been a bit of a tomboy. I'm trying to make people laugh with a funny slogan, t-shirt or something. Cara's tomboy style is admired by millions. It inspires us to wear what we want, and we love her for it. But she's not wacky all the time. She can also sport high fashion like the pro model she is. And it doesn't hurt that Cara Lagerfeld pretty much has her on speed dial. Number two. Is it a puppy? She's not afraid to laugh at herself. She beatboxed on Jimmy Fallon. 
and even rocked out on the drums for Charlotte Tilbury. We admire any girl who can make fun of herself. Number three, Kara is fearless, especially when it comes to empowering young girls with her own story. She recently opened up to Vogue magazine about her own struggles in Hollywood. Singing, writing songs is kind of my biggest fear, but it's the thing I feel I need to conquer. She's also publicly tackled serious topics like sexuality, fame, and family. Number four, her friends come first. Kara's also got a serious network of besties. I mean, hello, we wouldn't mind joining hashtag cake or at least getting a tea from Kara and Kendall Jenner. Plus, she's got Kate Moss, Taylor Swift, Carly Kloss, and Jordan Dunn on her side. Hashtag friendship goals. Number five, Kara's the ultimate renaissance lady. She's a supermodel, a British socialite, a singer, and an actress. By 20 years old, Kara was already dubbed the next Kate Moss, and now she's taking over Hollywood one role at a time. You can catch her in Paper Towns now, and next up, starring opposite Jared Leto in Suicide Squad. There are very few stars in Hollywood that show us their authentic, true selves. We're just lucky we have someone like Cara Delevingne to guide the way. I love her so much, but what I love most about her is her style. What do you mm -hmm. guys love about Cara? I love that she encourages her fans to be themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times with models, they're this picture-perfect image. Nothing is wrong with them, they're flawless, mm -hmm. but she's like, Sticking her tongue out, <laughs> yeah. and she's her motto is like be weird, just yeah. be as weird as you can, and I love that. I love that she has you know both sides of her. Mm -hmm. I love her style too. I love that she's bringing tomboy glamour to the I forefront. I know. Yeah. I'm definitely a pants girl more than a skirt or yeah. dress lady, and she does it so well. Now, Cara isn't the only fashionable lady in the family. So is her sister, Poppy Delavine, and they're just one of the many stylish sister acts in fashion. Take a look. There is something so awesome about stylish sisters. Balmain's latest campaign totally took advantage of that, featuring Kendall and Kylie Jenner, Gigi and Bella Hadid, and Joan and Erica Smalls. It's safe to say, Kendall and Kylie are fashion's hottest duo of the moment, and they have their older half-sisters, you know, the Kardashians, to thank. And Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid are the most stylish newcomers. They're turning heads and snagging high-profile campaigns left and right. And there are tons of other stylish sister acts that didn't make the Balmain cut. Beyonce and Solange Knowles are the OGs. They have been slaying the sister style game for years. Best dress goes to Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. After all, they have three fashion lines and one CFDA Designer of the Year, and they even get extra points for their third stylish sis, Elizabeth Olsen. The award for Best British Sisters is a toss-up between Cara and Poppy Delavine and Sienna and Savannah Miller. While the Delavines dominate the runway, the Millers take over behind the scenes. They had a fashion line together, 2812. Best onstage style goes to the Heim sisters. They can rock jean shorts and festival style like no one else. The most similar style goes to Elle and Dakota Fanny. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum, Kate and Rooney Mara had the most distinctly different sister style. Kate's outfits are sweet and colorful, while Rooney opts for a minimal palette of black, white, and navy. The whole world watched Kate Middleton's royal wedding with Sister Pippa by her side. This sister act wins for the biggest buzz. Who wasn't talking about Kate's dress or Pippa's derriere? The Supermodel Sister Award has to go to Kate Moss and her incredibly chic half-sister, Lottie Moss. And finally, Nicole Richie and her up-and-coming sister, Sophia Ricci, win our vote for most stylish duo with a sense of humor. Who doesn't love a little comedy? My sister and I definitely took the cake. You know, that back stance that she's doing? Pretty chic. But who's your favorite <laughs> set of stylish sisters? The Olsen twins. All day Always. long. I have loved them my entire life. Me yeah. too. Yeah, in terms like... of newcomers, though, I really like Gigi and Bella. I can't get I enough of them. them. And I'm so proud them. of Bella. She's really coming into yeah. her own. Yeah. Gigi, I was kind of unsure if she was going to like make it as a model. Yeah. But then I was driving down Sunset, and there's this amazing board of her like in the guest ad. And she's I'm like, killing it, damn, man. She's like Bridget Bardot. Yeah. Yeah. You walk through a mall, it's just Gigi's face all over the place. Exactly. Right? She's a stunner. OK, it's time. Time to talk denim. For this week's We Spy, we're diving into the trend. Check it out. It's the return of denim on denim. We Spy, celebrity, street stylers, and Instagram stars wearing loads of America's favorite fabric and plenty of ways to do it. Song of Style and Sincerely Jewels wore frayed denim tops paired with short shorts. Model Isabel Gouillard tried out a denim maxi skirt with a chambray shirt, and Gabrielle Union tested out a denim pencil skirt with a short sleeve denim top. And Always Judging reminded us to never forget the styling power of a denim jacket. 
Denim might just be the most versatile fabric out there. What do you think is the most flattering way to wear denim on denim? Well, I'm five foot two, so with a pair of high heels. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, elevate. You know, I have hips, so I like to keep it a little bit more contained at the bottom, so maybe contained. a longer <laughs> a longer skirt, you yeah. know, with like a blousier, you know, chambray up top. I think the, the key for that, though, is definitely wearing darker colors on bottom if yep. you're trying to like elongate the leg and make them look smaller and then wearing something lighter. On yeah. top. And different colors in general. Yeah, yes. like the washes the are so straight important. Straight up suit, I, I'm not. Bad. I know. But I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap on this week's Be Spice Style. Cute. Let us know what you guys think of Denim on Denim in the comments below, along with which sisters are the most stylish to you. And will you be going robe anytime <laughs> soon? Let us know and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.